In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. A morning offering by St. Therese of the Child Jesus. O oh my God, I offer thee all my actions of this day for the intentions and for the glory of the most sacred heart of Jesus. I desire to sanctify every beat of my heart, my every thought, my simplest works, by uniting them to its infinite merits, and I wish to make reparation for my sins by casting them into the furnace of its merciful love. O oh my God, I ask of thee for myself and for those whom I hold dear the grace to fulfill perfectly thy holy will, to accept for love of thee the joys and sorrows of this passing life, so that we may one day be united together in heaven for all eternity. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat at uh, welcome po sa ating uh, uh, araw-araw na conferences on prayer uh, in the presence of God. Prayer, sorry, prayer of the presence of God. At uh, sa ikasyam na araw na ito ng Hulyo, our ninth uh, conference, we have for our title, Ask of God, Ask for God Alone. Ang Diyos lamang ang hingin. Okay? So, ang, uh, the, the, the conference today begins with, uh, pag tayo daw ay nagdadasal sa Diyos, ang mahihingi lamang natin uh, ay ang Diyos. Okay? When praying to God, we can only ask for God. Why? Because He is everything, and in giving Himself, He gives us everything. Okay? Diyos lamang talaga ang mahihingi natin sapagkat Siya ay ang lahat-lahat. At kapag ibinibigay niya ang kanyang sarili, ibinibigay niya sa atin ang lahat. So when we ask for God, we are actually asking for all. When we possess God, we can wish and ask for nothing more. Kapag, uh, kapag tinataglay daw natin ang Diyos, wala na tayong ibang mahihingi pa. Okay? We can ask for nothing more. Once we grasp this truth, there is no point in writing or saying anything. We are content simply to pray, and even then, we would ask for nothing. Kapag naintindihan natin ang katotohanan ito na uh, kapag tinataglay natin ang Diyos, wala na tayong aasamin pa or wala na tayong hihingin pang iba. Okay? Kapag naunawaan natin ang katotohanan ito, well, wala, wala na tayong masasabi pa. We would simply be content in praying and even when we pray, we will no longer ask for anything. The whole of the first part of the Our Father keeps us on these silent heights. That is all we see there. For God is both the source and the objective of our asking. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Ano pang mahihingi mo, di ba? Uh, 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 sambahin ang ngalan mo, mapasa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin ang loob mo. Di ba? Ano pang, ano pang mahihingi pa natin? 
we could even do without the words, content with the interior movement of the soul which says everything in silence. Minsan pa nga, hindi na natin kinakailangang magsalita pa. Okay? Basta't masaya na tayo sa uh, pagkilos ng Espiritu Santo sa ating kaluluwa, well, lahat ay masasabi natin sa katahimikan. Hindi na natin kinakailangang magsalita pa. Or, we can think of the words and develop them. Maari na hindi na natin kinailangang magsalita pa. Iisipin na lamang natin ang ating mga sasabihin, ang mga salita. Iisipin lamang natin and then we develop them. And that is why so many profitable prayers do in fact both in public and in private according to the temperament of different people in so far as they remain on this essential level of God's glory the coming of his kingdom and the fulfillment of his will they are good okay Basta ba't nananatili tayo doon sa tatlong kahilingan yan? Sambahin ang ngalan mo, mapasa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin ang loob mo dito sa lupa para ng salangit, okay na tayo doon. Hindi na natin masyadong kailangan ang marami pang salita. The actual words or thoughts with which we clothe them matters little. So when a person loves, he is conscious only of love. Okay? Kapag ang isang tao ay nagmamahal, ang naiisip lamang niya ay ang pag-ibig. Ngayon, God is our Father. And that means God is all love Ang Diyos ay Ama at nangangahulugan lamang ito na ang Diyos ay purong-purong pag-ibig. The Bible, Holy Scriptures never tires of telling us that God knows perfectly well what is good for us. Hindi ba? Paulit-ulit na sasabi yan ng ating Panginoon. God knows everything perfectly well and He knows what is good for us. Therefore, we cannot do better than to live everything, than to live everything in Him, to Him. Diba? Nalalaman ng Diyos ang lahat ng makabubuti sa atin kaya nga, wala nang mas iinam pa, wala nang mas gagaling pa o bubuti pa kaysa sa ang ipagkatiwala ang lahat sa Kanya. We may nevertheless make known our needs and express our wishes to Him on this indispensable condition of our submission to His loving will. Oo, maari nating ipaalam sa Diyos ang ating pangangailangan, maaring ipahiwating natin sa Kanya ang mga ninanais natin sa Kanya, subalit, ang lahat ng kahilingan ay nakasalalay sa hindi matatawarang kondisyon na tayo ay magpasakop sa kanyang kalooban. Kaya nga hindi ba? Uh, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Kung tutusin, yung lahat ng ating madadasal, basta't ito'y nakapalob sa tatlong unang kahilingan ng panalangin ng Panginoon. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Okay? Basta't pasok sa tatlong iyon, ayon, 
wala na tayong mahihingi pa. We are actually asking for God Himself. Okay? This is what the Lord would have us learn from the second part of the Our Father. This is what the innumerable and beautiful prayers of the Church, of the Mass, of the Divine Office teach us. For they all come from the Holy Spirit who has inspired them. So kung mapapansin nyo, yung pangalawang bahagi ng Ama namin, yung lahat ng kahilingan ito, lahat ng kahilingan ng lahat ng mga panalangin ng simbahan, maging ang mga panalangin sa banal na misa, maging ang panalangin sa uh, ban- mga, mga liturgy of the hours, okay? ang lahat ng yan ay pumapasok doon sa unang tatlo. Ano yon? Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Sambahin ang alan mo, mapa sa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin ang loob mo dito sa lupa para ng sa langit. And it is the Holy Spirit that inspires all of these prayers in us. And when the Holy Spirit inspires us to pray, well, the prayer He inspires in us would come under those three petitions. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Okay? So, the first question to, con- to be considered is, what order should we follow in our prayers? Ano bang pagkakasunod-sunod ng ating mga sasabihin sa panalangin? Well, uh, napa, napagpasya na ito noon pa. Because the order to follow is God's order. Okay? The order to be followed is God's order. And where do you find that order? you find that order in the Lord's Prayer. Okay? The order to be followed in prayer is God's order. And where is that found? It is found in the Lord's Prayer. We must ask for all that may contribute to God's glory and the advancement of His kingdom. And that is why the first, uh, the first and essential object, and the one we must never lose sight of, okay, pwede naman magmuto ng tahimik, di ba? Kailang paingay yung tambucho mo, hindi ba? Okay. The first and essential order, which we should never lose sight of, is our salvation and our union with God. Kasi anong pagkakasunod-sunod? Well, ang ipagdadasal natin ay ang mga bagay na uh, makapagdadagdag sa kaluwalhatian ng Diyos at sa pagsulong ng Kanyang kaharian. And that is why we should never lose sight of praying for our eternal salvation and our union with God. This is the end of all prayer. Ito yung pinakalayunin, pinakadireksyon ng lahat ng panalangin. This is the end of every movement of the soul. To praise God and to be united with Him. To be transformed into His likeness forever to become forever His image and His child. Okay? This is the end of all prayer, of every movement of soul, to praise God, to be united with Him, to be transformed into His likeness forever, to become forever His image and His child child. And therefore, the end, okay, the end 
necessitates the means that lead to it. So kung ang hinihingi natin ay ang ating kaligtasan, kung ang hinihingi natin ay ang uh, uh, kaganapan ng pakikipag-isa natin sa Diyos, our transformation in the likeness of God, therefore, we must ask for the means that lead to that transformation. We must ask for the means that lead to that communion. We cannot ask for our salvation without asking for virtues and grace. Okay? We cannot ask for our salvation without asking for virtues and grace. What is grace? Grace is the divine life in the soul. And what are virtues? Virtues are the means through which grace is effective. So ano daw yung gracia? Ang gracia ay ang buhay ng Diyos na nasa ating kaluluwa. Virtues. Ito ang mga pamamaraan na kung, na kung paanong nag, uh, uh, gumagalaw ang biyaya ng Diyos sa ating buhay. It, these are the means by which the grace of God is effective. Grace is given to us in the form of a seed. And we are, as it were, newborn children. In us, as a child newly born, is the seed of all subsequent development of life. And this seed is given to us in baptism. Diba? Sa loob ng isang binhi, sa loob ng isang but, uh, buto, naroon yung, uh, yung lahat ng uh, nandoon yung lahat nung uh, maaring mag, ma-develop ng isang halaman. Ganon din naman. You and I are like newborn babies and uh, baptism plants that seed in our hearts. And what is that seed? Grace. The inner dwelling of God in the soul. That is grace. And that grace is a seed that has been planted in us when we were baptized. And as yet, developments have not yet taken place, but they are already there. Just as the stem, the branches, the leaves, and the blossoms are in the seed cast into the ground. Paano nagkasya yung mga sanga, yung mga dahon, yung mga buong, bulaklak at ubas, lahat sila ay nakapaloob sa mumunting binhi na iyan na itinatanim. Therefore, we cannot reasonably ask for union with God without asking for these developments which will go towards the making of the desired union. Yan nga kapag tayo nagdadasal at minimithi natin na makaisa natin ang Diyos, kinakailangan talagang hingin natin ang lahat ng ito. Yung biyaya. Okay? We must ask for that grace. Okay? that will go towards the making of a, the desired union. Kasi kung hindi natin ginawa ito, we will prevent ourselves from growing in Him. Or we will want grace to remain an undeveloped seed in the depths of our soul. So, together with grace, we must ask for virtue. And virtues are the means by which grace becomes effective. Okay? Virtues are, are means by which 
grace is effective and grace is the dwell in the, the indwelling of God in the soul. Kaya nga, if we want union with the Lord, then we must ask for grace and virtues. So far, all is clean and the object of our prayer is obvious. But there are certain things that might or might not serve to bring us closer to God. And we do not know. Okay? It is the same with that we called natural we call uh, natural evil okay Limbawa, i have gold in my keeping i can use that gold for the glory of god and the good of my soul or i could precisely use that gold for opposite purposes any illness can help sanctify me, provided I bear it with patience and for the love of our Heavenly Father, since He permits illness. Or, I can accept it, but in a spirit of rebellion and hating God for sending it. So suffering can work both ways. It can help purify us and perfect us if we willingly accept it out of the love of God or we can be resigned to suffering and at the same time grumble to God, rebel against God for sending you such suffering. Okay? Ang ginto, pwede mong gamitin para sa ikabubuti ng iba pero pwede mo ring gamitin ito upang siilin ang ibang tao so in view of this what attitude must i adopt when i pray okay ano bang dapat kong ano bang asal ang dapat kong taglayin kapag ako ay nagdadasal well, I must wait quietly with a spirit of confiding trust. Without wasting my time to reasoning on vain suppositions, but real in the great rea- but, but a re- test in the great reality. This great reality is this. God is good and He is love. Okay? So, I must rest quietly. Okay? I must wait quietly in a spirit of confiding trust. Okay? Resting in the great reality of God's goodness and of His love. Walang hinahangad ang Diyos para sa atin kundi ang ating ikaliligaya. At ipinagkakatiwala ko sa kanya ang uh, uh, ipinag, ipinababahala ko sa kanya ang pagkamit ng aking ng uh, kaligayahan para sa akin. Okay? Ay and trust to God the care of obtaining my happiness for me. It is the same even with supernatural values. A very young child, okay, what does he do? The child nestles against his father's heart, happy in his love. He just stays there, content to wait. This quiet uh, expectancy is not a passive indifference, but rather an unwavering trust, which is the form desire takes. Only the desire must be there always, and it must be the real source 
of the repose. Otherwise, this repose would be mere uh, idleness. Okay? So, kinakailangan kay parang bat, malit na bata na nakahilig doon sa dibdib ng ama at kontento sa pagmamahal ng ama. He just stays there. Kontento na siyang mag-abang, mag-antay. And this quiet expectancies, yung kanyang tahimik na paghihintay, is not indifference. But it is unwavering trust, which is from uh, which is the form a desire takes. Okay. Nag-aantay ako. Nag-aantay ako ng panahon. Inaantay ko at ako'y nagtitiwala that God will do things in His own time. Hindi to idle, hindi to idleness. Hindi to idle indifference. Hindi kundi inaantay ko lang talaga ang tempo ng Diyos. Bakit? Because everything I ask falls under uh, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Okay? Matapos nun, well, ipinagkakatiwala ko sa Diyos ang lahat. As a rule, The Holy Spirit who inspires our prayers tells us to make them more explicit. Okay? The Holy Spirit who inspires our prayers tells them to make more, them more explicit. Okay? And there are certain advantages to this. The thought of the supernatural happiness awaiting us of how uh, en- enviable it is stimulates the desire which must always be ardent yet always remaining calm. Okay? Kapag lagi nating isinasaisip yung walang hanggang kaligayahang nag-aantay sa atin sa kalangitan. Okay? Uh, yung bang nagpa-fire up yung ating mga hangarin. Pero no matter how ardent our desires may be, they must always remain calm. All saints possess ardent desires. All saints possess ardent desire. But remember, ardent, ar, uh, ardor is not the same as violence. Yung alab ng puso ay hindi violence. Okay? Hindi ito karahasan. What we should keep before our minds is the wondrous power of grace and virtues. Of what grace is accomplishing in our souls. Of the eternal salvation that is our good of the glory that will give to God and the boundless happiness in store for us. Okay? We should keep in mind the wonderful power Siguro ang baba ng tingin ng tao sa kanyang sarili, no? Kailangan malaman natin lahat na dumadaan siya. Ang baba siguro ng tingin sa sarili. Kung mababang tingin mo sa sarili mo, papansin ka lagi, di ba? Ewan ko. Ano bang naidudulot na sa kaligtasan ng kaluluwa niya? Yung malaman natin dumadaan yung motor niya. Hindi ba? Okay. Ang baba sa tingin niya sa sarili niya. Okay? Kaya yung mga mahil sa maingin na tambucho, tandaan nyo, kung gaano kalaking tambucho na yan, ha? ganun kaliit ang tingin mo sa sarili mo. Kailangan malaman namin dumadaan ka. Okay? Kahit naman, di ba? Kahit naman sa ecotourism, di ba? You live no 
fingerprints, you leave no footprints. Kahit naman sa buhay natin dito eh, we do not leave our footprints. Natatandaan ko nung seminarista ako sa UST, si yung father director namin is the great Dutch Father Fermin. Okay? Si Father Fermin, kinararangal ko, I am a product of Father Fermin. Okay? UST. E Dutch yun, di ba? Sa Christian ako nun ng uh, chapel namin. Mayroon kami isang napakagandang kalis na pagkakintab-kintab. Minsan, nakita niya may fingerprints yung yung chalis. Tinawag ko ni Father Fermin, Jojo, Jojo, I did not spend so much on having this chalice guilt just for you to leave your fingerprints on it. At hanggang ngayon, dala-dala ko yung lesson na yan. Kaya yung masakristan dito, huwag na huwag mong iiwan ang fingerprints mo sa chalice. Bakit? You're not supposed to leave your fingerprints on it. Ganun din. Dumadaan ka, dumaan ka. Don't leave your fingerprints. Don't leave your footprints. Because wanting to make us, wanting to attract our attention as you pass by already shows you how insecure you are. Okay? So ganun lang talagang tingin ko dyan. Now, pangalawang beses na kasi dumaan eh. Okay. Ngayon, ha? we should keep before our, eye, before our minds uh, the wonderful power of grace and virtue. Of what virtue is accomplishing in our souls, of what grace is accomplishing in our souls, the virtues produced by grace, of the eternal salvation Uh, that is our goal of the glory it will give to God and the boundless happiness in store for us. Okay? We should only keep before our eyes that desire to give glory to God. To contemplate long these truths is one of the highest forms of prayer that we can have in this life. And it will pass one day easily into the vision of God in the life to come. Okay. Ang pinakamataas na uri daw ng panalangin ay ang pagninilay dito sa mga bagay na may kinalaman sa pagbibigay luwalhati sa Diyos. And one day it will pass easily into the vision of God in the life to come. Let us pray. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, O Christ Jesus, I acknowledge the King of the universe All that has been created has been made for thee. Exercise over me all thy, gov- thy sovereign rights. I renew the promises of my baptism. I renounce Satan and all his works and all his pomps, and I promise to live a good Christian life and to do all in my power to procure the triumph of the rights of God and thy church. O divine heart, O Jesus, I offer thee my, my poor efforts in order to obtain all that all hearts may acknowledge, thy sacred royalty, and that, those, and that thus the kingdom of thy peace may be established throughout the universe. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, hope of the hopeless, pray for us. The Lord be with you. 
Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Maraming salamat po for Uh, partake, for partaking of our conference today. I do hope that uh, you continue to uh, like our meditations and I do hope that our, our, our conferences may be beneficial to you. Thank you very much.